Hello friends, Neil here, EMF Safety Zone channel, bringing you another quick video, hopefully quick. I have my notes on the left side here of my computer, so I'm going to be looking over here. Um, I'll, I'll jump right in, okay? As usual, I feel rather serious about this subject. It's very easy to be in denial regarding wireless radiation. And why is that? It's very simple. We can't see it. Now, that doesn't sound very profound, does it? But it is. You need to realize how important what I'm saying is. You cannot see microwave, also known as wireless, also known as radio frequency. You cannot see microwave radiation. And so most human beings, all right, innocently, if we can't see it, it doesn't exist. Without a microwave meter, nobody knows what's going on. It's like a seen eye dog for a blind person, okay? With microwave, we're blind. Now, lots of people feel it and feel the symptoms, but you can't see it. That is the most insidious aspect of this entire issue of global wireless proliferation. People all over the world are experiencing biological consequences from microwave exposure, all right? And most people are wondering where their symptoms are coming from. People are very confused. They have headaches, they have brain fog, they have migraine headaches, and they go to doctors and then doctors just tell them they're crazy, it's all in their head, There's, they can't diagnose it. Doctors in the USA will not diagnose exposure symptoms from wireless radiation, all right? In Europe, some doctors are a little bit more advanced and they understand electric hypersensitivity, electrical hypersensitivity, EHS, okay? But most doctors will not diagnose it. And your own husband or your wife or your kids, they'll think you're crazy because they don't feel anything. They don't notice it. All right, I have people all over the world, I'm not kidding, dozens and dozens of people all over the world who have told me they stopped having microwave, sorry, they stopped having migraine headaches and other symptoms just after me telling them to unplug their modem or their router at night. And that's only a baby step, okay? Just unplugging a wireless modem and router or router at night is just a little baby step and people already call me telling me, oh, I haven't, I, this is the first time I haven't had a migraine headache in five years. And this happens all the time. That, that tells you the extent of the biological consequences that we're experiencing, but we don't understand where it's coming from. And microwave radiation is creating a lot of the symptoms we're experiencing. So, uh, do I need to say this? We're in a war. I'm sorry. We're, we're in a war against ignorance and corruption. And we need to be educated and wise in our choices, or we're just going to be collateral damage. You know that term, collateral damage from being in a war? And the wireless the wireless industry is a multi-billion or multi-trillion dollar a year industry. They don't care about collateral damage. All right, don't even get me started. Get yourself microwave shielding, clothing, own a microwave meter, and start your plans for moving away from populated cities and neighborhoods. Right now, I'm in Hawaii. That's why you notice a different background here. And I'm sitting here with my favorite meter. It's a Safe and Sound Pro 2. And when I turn it on, um, it picks up a little bit of a pulse from a cell tower about five miles from here. But you notice what's going on here? I mean, it's barely registering a half a microwatt per square meter. I'm on the computer right now. The wireless is turned off on the modem. And there is almost no microwave radiation here. I'm on seven acres on an organic farm. All right, this is almost impossible to see this meter like this, except in places that are safer 
to live. All right. Um, let me just say a couple more things and I'm going to tell you the meters that I like. If you live in a suburban area with corporate controlled water and power and gas, you're going to be exposed to the type of wireless metering systems that they choose to use. Uh, smart meters for the electricity, uh, possibly for the gas, or wireless transmitters that get deployed onto the power poles in front of your house. So all neighborhoods in suburban areas are going to be under the onslaught of the choices that the corporations make of how to monitor your water, power, and gas. That's why I say start your plans for getting out of populated cities and populated suburban areas. Um, am I a radical? Am I a fanatic? Absolutely not. We're in a war. And people who are sensitive can feel the symptoms. Now, I'm going to try to keep this video short. And I know most of you trust me. Okay, I get a lot of really nice comments. And although I do sell products and I try to make a living selling good products, most of you out there know I'm not sitting here trying to push products on you. I'm a professional EMF consultant. I try out different meters. I see what's selling on Amazon and eBay, and a lot of it breaks my heart. There's meters that I could become a millionaire selling because they're cheap little Chinese microwave meters for $110 or something. I won't even name names, but I want to tell you something. You're not going to get a decent meter that is calibrated correctly and will give you a good measurements for $100 or these cheap Chinese meters, or these meters that um, are tri-field meters where they measure microwave, uh, electrical fields, and magnetic fields, most of them are not calibrated correctly. So what I want to let you know, and this is important, okay, if you feel like you want the best and you want to spend $385, this is the Safe and Sound Pro 2. It measures up to 8 gigahertz, it, it, it's the newest technology and it will measure 5G up to 8 gigahertz. Most 5G isn't over that yet. Now, I don't have my other meter with me, but the little brother or sister of this meter is called the Safe and Sound Classic 2, and that's $159. It's a little less complex and more entry level than this meter, but it's just as sensitive and it's a fabulous meter for microwave. Just in my opinion, these are the only two meters you should be thinking about. They both measure up to eight gigahertz. Um, they're very sensitive and they do have a very rapid refresh rate and they will pick up on 5G. So you can go to my website, emfsafetyzone.com, emfsafetyzone.com, go to the store page and then go to the microwave meter page and you will see the Safe and Sound Pro and you'll see the Safe and Sound Classic. One's 385 and one's uh, 159. Again, this is not a sales pitch. I don't go anywhere without this meter. And then if somebody, I'm here in Hawaii, if somebody says, oh, can you come give me a consultation? This is what I bring with me. Everybody should have a microwave meter. It's as important as can be. Um, I'm running out of things to say, so I think I'm just gonna end the video. I think I've covered it all. Microwave radiation is invisible, but there's going to be biological consequences. And don't believe anybody who says, oh yeah, it doesn't bother me. I can talk on my cell phone all day long and I don't experience any symptoms. People who do not feel it or don't have any symptoms are having biological consequences from exposure to microwave radiation. It may catch them in five years, may catch them in 10 years, uh, may catch them in less time. Younger people under 30 years old are getting colorectal cancer. Young people don't get colorectal cancer. What's that from? It's from carrying a cell phone in one's pocket or purse down by the lower body. All right, we're in a war. The only tools we have is getting educated and getting wise in our choices, getting some microwave shielding clothing that we feel comfortable with and owning a microwave meter. All right. Thanks so much for listening.